Whether you're writing software, web pages, or prose, one thing remains the same, the need to run some sort of external tool on the files that you're working with while you're working on them. And while you could leave Sublime Text and execute those programs externally to it, that does break workflow just a little. As it turns out though, Sublime has a very powerful mechanism that allows you to execute any external tool that you like. It's called a build system, and today we're talking all about it. Hey, hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odan here, and welcome to this week's video on build systems. Now, build systems in Sublime Text are a very powerful feature that allow you to execute any sort of external program that you might like from directly within Sublime Text. This could be something like development tools, like a compiler or a transpiler or a linter, if you happen to be a software developer, or even if you're on the other end of that operation writing prose or doing something in LaTeX, for example, you might need to run some sort of external tool to do a document conversion to come up with the final version of the file. Any of these things and more are candidates for doing things with a build system. Now, build systems are a rather big topic, not a complicated topic, but a big topic with a, a fair number of moving parts that you need to get your head around in order to make the most use out of them. And that's why this video is just an introduction to build systems. And we're going to continue on in this video series, filling in the gaps on all of the things you need to know to get the most out of them. And that's why I would encourage you to look down in the description of this video where you will find a link to a playlist that has all of the videos available on the channel that have to do with build systems. And with those, you will have the information that you need to take your build systems to the next sublime level. Now, as we said, build systems are for executing external programs. And to that end, what a build system actually is, is just a simple configuration file that tells Sublime that in a particular situation, it should run a particular program to pr produce a particular action. There's a fair number of build systems that ship directly with Sublime Text as examples of how build systems can work. Packages that you install may also include build systems as well. And you as a user of Sublime Text can also create your own custom build systems as well. Now, it's important consideration here that the build systems that ship with Sublime aren't the be-all and end-all of a build systems because different developers and different people use different tools in different ways for different results. And there's no way that one build system supplied by Sublime HQ could possibly cover all possible angles. So to that end, depending on the build system that you're using, you may need to customize your own version of a build system in order to get it working exactly the way that you might like. And that's something we're going to be covering in this particular video series. But I thought I'd point that out here. Now, there's a couple of different places you can find commands for dealing with build systems in Sublime Text, one of which would be the command palette if you search for commands with build in the name, and the other is in the tools menu where there's a section specifically set aside for build systems. The first item in this list allows you to choose from amongst the available build systems that are currently installed in your copy of Sublime Text. Now, if you choose one of these items, that's telling Sublime to use that build system explicitly whenever you execute a build in this particular window. If you like, you can choose the option at the top, automatic, which tells Sublime based on the situation that you're currently in, which would be the current file or the current project, try to find the most relevant build system and use that one instead. And in cases where there's more than one choice, it'll ask you to clarify which one you might like. Also at the bottom of this menu, there's an item that makes it easier for you to create your own build system from scratch as well. But we'll see that coming up very soon now. The next two items in this menu are for actually executing a build. And there's key bindings associated with this, as you can see here. If you're on Mac OS, these are going to be slightly different from what you see here. They're going to use the command key instead. You can always figure out uh, exactly what key bindings are by checking in the menu. And the difference between build and build with is also something we're going to cover in just a second. But it's important to know right now, these are commands for actually kicking off the build. Now, once the build is actually running, it's going to be running some sort of external program and showing you output in a panel down at the bottom of the screen. And that could be a short-lived task or it could be a long-lived task. It might even be something that just runs forever until you stop it. So for those latter two cases, if you'd like to stop a build from actually running, you can use this third option here, the, the cancel build option to tell Sublime that whatever it's currently doing, please stop doing it right now. And that option will be grayed out if there's not actively a build executing right now. And the last option option available here is a little sub menu that allows you to reopen the build output panel uh, if you happen to have closed it for any reason and also to navigate between the results of a build which is things like errors and warnings and the like which are controlled by the build system in general and allow you to immediately jump to problem locations in files based on the results of the build. 
Now, the one last thing to point out here is that build systems appear in the tools menu under the same name as the file in which they are contained. So as a pro tip, if you'd like to look at the contents of any build system in Sublime Text, whether one that you created, one that shipped with Sublime Text, one that a package installed for you, you can do that very easily by using the view package file command from the command palette, search for sublime-build, that's going to filter the list to all the build systems, and then the name of the file represents the name that you see in the menu. You can very easily find exactly the build that you're looking for if you do this. For example, if you're a Python developer, then you know that the build system you choose from the menu is Python. So using view package file, you can open the Python build and see the exact build system that Sublime ships with for executing Python code. And uh, if you'd like to customize this, you can't because it's built into Sublime Text, but very easily you could just copy the contents of this or any build system that ships with Sublime Text. Use the tools build system, new build system menu item to come up with a stub, replace the content that comes up with the content that you copied from the previous file, save this under under your own custom name. Make sure you don't choose a name that already exists or it'll be hard to choose it from the menu because there'll be multiple items with the same name. And now you can edit this build system as you like. Now we're going to cover in future videos in this series how to actually create one of these build systems and what all the different keys mean in here and what the options are for them. So let's just cover today how you might actually use an existing build system to actually execute a build inside of Sublime Text. And that's very easy to do. The first thing you're going to do is go to the Tools menu and go to Build System and choose the build system that you want to use for your particular build. And again, here you can choose any of the build systems that are here if you have a very specific need to execute a particular one, or you can leave it set on the automatic set at the top here, which will get Sublime to try to automatically determine of all of the available build systems what apply to your current situation. That's usually a recommended thing unless you have a very specific reason to do it any other way. Now once you have this build system selected, you get into the situation where you actually want to run your program or execute the tool. Say for example this Python file that I have available right here and I'd like to execute this. Well, how would I do that? I would use one of the items from the tools menu or the command palette or the key binding. Now if I just go jump into the tools menu we can see there's two commands here, build and build with, and there's keys associated with these. Remember, you can always see what the key bindings are for your particular system by looking in the menu here. So we're going to assume from this point forward that you know how to do that. Now, what's the difference between build and build with? Well, it works a little something like this. At any given time, there could be multiple builds that apply to the current situation. That could be because there's multiple build systems that know how to execute Python code, for example, with differing options, like using different versions of Python or different distributions of Python, like Anaconda, for example. There could be that their build system actually contains multiple variations on itself, such as the example we were just looking at, which has a variation on the actual main build system that allows you to compile your code just to syntactically change check it without actually executing it. And in a case like that, no matter which way you select a build system, whether you choose automatic or you choose a specific one from the menu, it's possible that when you execute a regular build, Sublime has to ask you, there's a couple of different builds here, which one do I use? And once you choose one of those options, it'll continue to keep using that one as long as the build systems remain the same. Now, using build with tells Sublime to always prompt you for the build system to use before it executes the build, whereas using build, it'll keep using the last one that you chose and only offer to sh get you to pick one if the list actually changed. For example, if I use the build command, there's multiple different types of builds that can be executed for Python, so Sublime prompts me. I choose the top one, the program executes, we can see the output in a panel at the bottom of the window. If I close the panel and choose the build command again, Sublime doesn't prompt me again because it remembers the choice that I made previously, it just keeps re-executing the build. If I wanted to switch which build I was using, then I can use the build with command, which again, I'm using the key bindings here, you could also do this from the menu, in which case it will ask me again which build I like to use. I'm going to choose the exact same one and we can see the exact same thing happening here. Now build systems are a big topic, not a complicated topic. There's just a lot of options at your disposal to tune them to do exactly what you'd like them to do. And we're going to cover those in upcoming videos on the series. Now a non-exhaustive list of topics includes things like how to write your first build system, how to specify the program to execute, how to specify the location where the build actually runs, how to select a different program based on the operating system that you're using, or other slight variations on the build, how to tell Sublime how to automatically select your build in an appropriate situation, or 
or capture errors and warnings generated by your tools so you can navigate to the appropriate places inside of a file, how to build uh, something that opens an external window automatically for you, and how to augment your build using plugins of your own choosing or third-party packages like Terminus if you want to execute builds and take full control over what they do. There's a lot that's possible with build systems, and I hope that you're here with us when we cover them. Make sure to use those buttons down below to thumb subscribe and share and ring the bell notification icon if you haven't already. And in the next video, this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.